Hey, what is going on, my dudes? Welcome back. Uh, today we're playing a different game. It's called Marie's Room. I was just scrolling through Steam and uh, came across this. It looked pretty cool. It says it's a shorter game, uh, it's made to be in one sitting. So uh, let's give it a try. Hello. <laughs> what's what's back. up? Why would I? After all that's happened, even in here. What what's so, going on? Where is the journal? Oh, that's cool. The pictures change. Oh, that's cool. Looks like some parents over there. Oh, okay. Is that me? Oh my god. Am I the one with the red hair? What was I thinking? Punk as fuck, dude. Let's see, it is 9 p.m. 102. God damn, boy. Hell no. Alright, I guess I'm going in here. Can I go anywhere else? I don't want to oh. go back down. Nope, nope, nope. You don't have to. Don't need to go in there. That's the bathroom. Well, I didn't know. Alright. We in here. Here. All right. Hi Kelsey. Hi, Kelsey. Oh, never mind. Yes, I'm talking to you. I know you've been reading my journal. Can I ever forgive you for what you did? Honestly, I don't know. I'm trying really hard, but I don't know how. Because I don't understand any of it. You are my friend. And I love you unconditionally. I did what I did because of you, and I stood up to him because of you. But you, I don't know. Right now, I can't be near you, so I don't want you to come find me. I promise I'll be all right. Truly. Except she wouldn't be. Oh. She would not leave far away. Damn it! All right, let's get in there. Come on, like enough chit chatting. I'm ready to explore. Okay, orange peels. Have you ever peeled an orange? So juicy. What in the world? Drops erupted from underneath its skin like fireworks in the setting sun. The trees in Mr. Jones's garden have them. I okay. Have to live off his garden vegetables and fruit. All right, so. Trevor. Yeah, fuck Trevor. So I guess. Can we stop that. Thank you. Oh no 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 no! I changed my mind. Just my stop. All right. So I looked at the orange peels. It went a little, little nuts. Okay. Okay. So that's what I thought. Every time I guess in like I'm looking through the room, we like you'll see like a little circle pop up. I guess I'm just looking for stuff. So every time something highlights. Okay. Yeah. So that's gonna light up. I know he blamed her for everything, but she should have blamed him for what he did to her and Mr. Torres. Is that a real number? Six one nine eight one five three seven zero zero. I need to find the key. I where the key? I'm not, not a, a shadow, shadow person. Yeah. I thought the it key would be under I here. To convince her she wasn't. All right. Anything else? Okay. Every two is there a the message? Roll in. Me and Marie never missed Jorge's tamales. When I was a kid, Jorge. Good old Jorge. I'm sorry. I just I just, I don't want to listen to every story. Mr. Torres gave me my own set of keys, so I'd feel at home. I loved him for it, but every time I used those keys, I felt a pang of guilt. Why? She loved being a birthday girl. Mr. Torres would take her shopping every year. All right. Hey. Yeah, it was a good place to be. Then Until Marie back. showed up. Well. I know she didn't mean anything by it, but the pity in her eyes. Worse than. Well, maybe she's just trying to be nice. The green eatery. The green eatery. Anything on the green, back? As in with fungus. Yes, I am never eating. Ayurvedic lasagna ever again. Bro, I don't I don't blame you. Fungus lasagna sounds like AS, my dude. 
Marie insisted on saving these. Why? She was going to make a new world with them. Well, she thinks she is Where Wally. Supposed to be. I've never actually seen her build anything. Me neither. Mr. Torres and Marie home invaders stabbed their father. Not Bash's daughter. Food rescue. He was stabbed. Almost died. She was knocked out with a baseball bat. Damn. She was in the hospital for a while. Stitches. Concussion. She still had headaches, she said. I would too if I got bash in the head. Smoking jar? What are these? Concerts. The world? Vinyl. Cigarettes. She hated my cigarettes. Every time I felt like going out and buying a pack, she made me put the money in that money jar. One day, that money would pay for our gas to drive to college. We only needed money for the one way. I ended up using it to get to Vancouver. Oh, so was this based in Canada? Disgusting, but cheap. I got used to them after I didn't want to go to the food kitchen anymore. The vicious taste of these meatballs still beats the humiliation of being served by Marie. I think Marie was just trying to be nice. Okay, I feel like I'm doing pretty decent. Find all this. Something on the ceiling? Ceiling, ceiling, ceiling. No. I thought I was so lucky. An adoring boyfriend. Free burgers from the kitchen he worked in. Sparkly things he bought me. I thought if I took care of him, he'd take care of me. And we'd get out, just in case I didn't get that scholarship. I had no idea where the money came from. Hmm. I'm guessing it wasn't the burger joint? Alright. Have you seen this man? <laughs> yeah. I've seen him. Who is that? Is that Trevor? That piece of shit? Um. Uh... A Rubik's Cube. Hated that thing. Why? Chemistry holds no surprises. Love that. Okay. A ring binder. Uh, yeah. Bro, I have yet to see a key anywhere. Just to pair me with the girl from Food Rescue. Outrageous. But I got over it. I chose to work my ass off. I had to if I wanted to get that scholarship. I mean, that's cool you wanted a scholarship. Thick as thieves, those two. Ever I just want to know... Died, they only had mm. each other. Like, how many things do I have to look at? Care. That was a nasty knife wound. It is cool, though. Is that a bat? <laughs> it is basketball oranges. Trevor was never far off, though. Why? When Marie and I rode our bikes through dark nights just to get a taste of those perfect oranges, I knew he was lurking in the shadows. What? I never told her, but I think that's how he found us. He followed us back to the room. Uh, no thanks. You yeah, freaking creep, dude. She wouldn't stop about time travel and black holes and stuff. I just Good topic. wanted to do something simple. Oh, panda! Shit. Boring is what she said. Her, the weird kid, talked boring. So yeah, we settled on antimatter because who wants to be boring? All right, rip shirt. Trevor. What an asshole. After we broke up, he got violent sometimes. One day, he dragged me through the school hall by my shirt until one of Marie's geek friends stopped in. Geek. Ben, I think it was. He got a lot of shit for it later. Well, ben sounds like a good dude. You should hang out with Ben. La La Land. That movie was a shit piece of crap. Glad Trevor snuck us in. I don't think I could have handled wasting 20 bucks on that. I never thought I'd see Marie there. Then again, she... Well, that's not very fair. I've heard La La Land is a beautiful movie. Alright. Sometimes it got so hot, this thing wasn't doing it anymore. Then we'd take off to Mr. Jones's swimming pool. That night, I guess... I'm more interested in this computer a password. Oh, whoa, 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 didn't have, didn't I see a cat thing? That was, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Was that bumblebee? Bumblebee? Bumblebee. Okay. Wait, does caps matter? I doubt it. Bumblebee. 
Damn, what's the password Damn. again? I need to find it. What was that? The hint? She must hey, I'm not a... Somewhere. Um, hold up. That. I'm not a shadow person. That, that is, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. God damn, I'm... Call me Sherlock Holmes. One of the Hardy Boys, is it? Wait. Shadow, uh, the Hardy Boy, they can't spell. Boom! A kitty gift. Alright, let's look at <laughs> He's trying to catch fish. Okay, uh, let's go internet. One day, I just had to know, what's up with all the cats? She said she admired them, that they were who they were without any pretense, that they had no fear of confrontation. I'm more of a what dog person. I like dogs. I like when oh, no. Missing, Marie cried for days. She thought I couldn't hear her at night. I could never prove it, but I'm sure it was Trevor. Damn, if Trevor actually did something, that's bullshit. Marie. Go! What were you thinking? You know that's illegal. Bro. She packing heat, dude. Let's get out of that. Let's, let's go with the emails. Why does someone need to get hurt before we step up and act, for Christ's sake? If they had, hmm. none of this shit would have happened, and no one would have died. Hi, Marie. It grieves me to hear that this is how you feel, but I'm afraid that there is not much I can do at this stage. I understand that you are alarmed and feel unsafe, but Trevor has not broken any school laws, nor has he hurt anyone. I would like to invite you and Trevor to my office to see if we can start up a conversation between the two of you. Let me know when you are ready to talk. You know where to find me, kind of regards. What a douche. Oh, no. Why didn't you tell me? Dude! He's Why taking pictures of you? We never should have gone to the Orange Grove. Oh, yeah, he's taking fucking pictures. What the fuck, dude? Okay, let me check out this journal. Because I've been hearing a shit ton of writing. Oh, shit! Okay. Okay. Oh, it's just going, it's just going down memory lane right here. I screwed up, but I was worried. I'm still worried. Oh. I am not fearless. Yeah, you can tell, like, like, if you put, you guys can pause the video and read all this. You know, uh, right here, they're talking about, like, the break-in. Um, I love cats because they're not afraid to be difficult. If that was true, I think my wife would want a cat because, you know, she's difficult. Just kidding. If you watch this, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, we're all just matter. That's what Kelsey keeps saying. And she's right. Hey, I love science. That's cool. That's cool. I think she's going to break her neck, by the way. Oh. Okay. Okay. So every time I get something, you know, I hear that writing. That's, that's what this has been the whole time. Because I knew it was in the... Uh, like in the journal, but I didn't know I was going to do all this. This is really, really cool. Oh, Ben? Isn't that the guy who kind of, like, helped her out that day? That's cool. Actually, friggin' hugged her. Oh, this is actually cool. This is really unique. I like this a lot. That's creative. Oh, no, not the sad cat picture. I can't do that one. Okay, so I got a few more things to find. She once asked me, don't uh -huh. you ever dream, Kelsey? I have a and dream. I, said, I don't. I don't dream. I plan. What I didn't tell her was that I wouldn't allow anyone to mess with those plans. Ooh. All right. She was my friend, and I had to tell her. So I came back here, throwing stones at the window. But she didn't react, so I threw a bigger stone, and it shattered the glass. 
What? She kept the stone as a souvenir to remind her not to trust me ever again. Where she put the stone? In the drawer? Oh. Marie, Marie's mom died when she was five. My mother, she might as well have been dead. She looked more dead than alive, anyhow. Passed out on the couch, empty bottles of gin on the floor. You did not have a easy life. Marie always dreamed about going to Europe. I see that. I don't think she ever went. Is that London? Paris? I don't know any others. I'm not cultured. This TV. Okay. There's no such thing as food waste. And don't Wait. I know it. So the smell of garbage will be in my nose forever, and the taste of it in my mouth. I swore I would never be that hungry again. I didn't care what it took. Wait. So is she dead? Is this what I'm getting from this? She asked me why I was so angry all the time, and oh. I told her because. It's a dirty deal. It's Russian roulette and utterly unfair. The cards had been dealt. Any player would have passed. I chose to be angry instead. But Marie? My friend Marie. She got me a new deck. I really like this. I deal again. This is really cool. I really like this a lot. It's a really cool message. Because, yeah, some people really do get deal dealt a shitty hand in life, but... This is a really clever way to actually cheer somebody up. I like that a lot. I might steal that. I like just to cheer some, just to cheer someone up. Oh, the rock's right here. Should have known. I was right by the plant and the smoking jar. Because you know the plant. She kept the stone. That one. Why that one through here. To be reminded? I told her I was sorry, but she said it was for me to remind me. That sounds rude. Okay, so am I close to being done? Alright, so this is full, this is full. That's a cute picture. This is full. So, what, two pages? Two pages to go? Yeah. Shit. Marie's birthday. Hey, pizza. I guess she wrote it down for that Ben guy hey. for her pizza and movie party. Ben sounds great. All right. All right. Yeah. Be jealous. I'm pretty sure that's what you're saying. Be jealous. Ben, like, ben sounds like a good dude. Is Bumblebee anything? Cat toy. Lights. One minute. Sungla sunglasses? No. Beer? Beer? Give me that. Mr. Torres loved that beer. After Summer the beer? Robbery, he only had a couple left. Apparently they were hard to come by. Still, we decided to try a bottle once. Marie loved that label. She drew it in her journal. I remember that. This <laughs> is the tiny later, little boy. I'm not sure. Maybe I don't want to remember. This is really cool. Alright, so... Am I good now? Alright. Okay, so that's finished. That is finished. That is finished. That is finished. See, this is cool, because, like, you're hearing the story, but then you can go back in the journal, like, and kind of read it, because I remember saying, don't... Have don't ever forget. So, I think that's cool. Because it's like, I guess, Kelsey's side of the story, and then there's Marie's side of the story. So I think that's really cool. Okay, pages one to two. Well, am I missing something on this too? And something on this? Or, oh, is this page one of two? I don't know what else. 
I opened the drawer, right? Yeah. Mr. Toria. Guys, I don't know. I'm sure you have seen it, and it's like, just go there. But I have no idea. Uh, yeah. See, that's what I thought. Sunglasses. Not to yeah. protect my eyes, but to hide them. I didn't want anyone to know. Bro, it has been 713 for the longest time. Oh, I thought it could have been a clue. Squeaky floor. Okay, sparkly shoes. We had money. You see? You bought me things. I was gonna wear these. That doesn't mean he's always a good guy. At the time I didn't know where the Super money fancy. Came. Okay, okay. Okay, so after school. This last page. This is something. I went through that. There I go through the drawer. Yeah. Lorraine. No clue. What is this? Yeah, La La Land. La La Land. Library. Yeah, I did the poster, I did that, I did that. I did the whiteboard. Antimatter. Oh yeah, that was our group. That was uh Bone TV. That menu. Bike helmet. I swear I, I went over this. And Marie didn't want one, so we rode our bikes everywhere. I thought I looked silly, and with those damn sparkly shoes, I probably did. Yeah. Those. I was losing my glamour status at school right there. Who needs it? Okay. Am I done now? No? Jeez. Like this game, for saying it's short, is incredibly detailed. Oh, swimsuit. I loved skinny dipping. Well, alright. He insisted on wearing this thing. Really, I mean, it was Mr. Jones's pool. After dark, no one would ever come close to the freak. And he wasn't there, just to be clear. But someone else was. Yeah, it was Trevor. I, I remember. I remember you saying that. Okay, now. Okay. Wait a second. These all have numbers on them. How many? Wait, hold up, hold up. How many? One, two, three, four, five. Key. Okay, five numbers. Maybe, th maybe these are the the red numbers right here. Okay. Because those have because I've been noticing like as I'm like skimming through like these are sticking out. So maybe this is the code. So okay, so three. Four, nine, five, one. Okay, let me go through that one more time. Three. Then let me get a notepad. Okay, okay. Three. 
four, nine, five, one. Okay, let's try it out. Three, four, nine, five, one. A five figure number. Three, four, what? Nine, five? Yeah. Nine, five, one. Yay! Oh! Good work, Kelsey. I mean, good work, Tyler. Oh Shit. God. God damn, boy. The past, like the future, is indefinite and exists only as a spectrum of possibility. Stephen Hawking said that. I wish it were true. But there was nothing I could do about the past. It was definite as hell. Uh, I didn't get Marie. What is I this? I thought a night by Jones's pool would help her relax. She used to love it there. But she insisted someone had been watching us. I just wanted to have a good time. And she was ruining it, so I said some things I shouldn't have. She just stood there, staring at the window. I was so annoyed. And that's when I knew she'd been right. Trevor. Right there in the room. He'd just come in through the open window. Shit. How did he find us? He didn't know where Marie and I lived. I always made sure of that. But he took an orange from his backpack and started peeling it. He followed them? He that is friend. creepy, dude. And he followed us home. He said to Marie, I told you not to mess with me. What would she do? I didn't get it. No, it wasn't until he started moving in on her that I realized it was Marie. He was after Marie. He blamed her for everything, and he had a knife. I'd never seen him so angry, so evil. Marie tried to get it away from him. He asked her why she never answered her phone. Because you're fucking she not nuts. Her emails, or did she think they were hollow threats? God, I just wanted to punch him with anything I could lay my hands on. My backpack. I smashed it against his wrist, knocking the knife out of his hands. Marie went for it, but Trevor was faster. He kicked her in the head. What I dove for the knife, but he jumped me. As we struggled, he hissed. Did he not get enough action yet? Maybe I needed another baseball bat to get my kicks. I stopped. Because right then I knew what he was up to. He asked oh. Marie about Mr. Torres. Was he alright? Did he still get stomach aches? Marie lay on the floor by the bed, in shock. Realizing it had been Trevor who almost killed her father. Then Trevor looked at me. Added with a smile. And her. That's when it all went to pieces. Trevor ripped us apart, and he was enjoying it. Marie didn't understand. I tried to explain, apologize, but she wasn't listening. She kept asking me if I'd been there with Trevor in their house. Trevor stirred things up even more. He told her it was me who had hit her over the head with a baseball bat. Shit. I enjoyed it. I screamed in frustration. No, that's not what happened. Tears streamed down Marie's face. She couldn't believe I would do that. Hurt her deliberately. God, I wanted Trevor to stop talking. I attacked him, scratched his face, hit him wherever I could. I hated him. He was twisting everything. I wanted to tell her that I was sorry. Yes, he robbed the house. And we got caught by Mr. Torres. But I never meant for anyone to get hurt. I didn't smash Marie's head. I panicked. I wanted to stop her from seeing me. When I realized how badly injured she was, I called the police. I tried to stay, but Trevor wouldn't let me. He pulled me by my hair into the van. Why and were you guys even hanging out with this psychopath? Me. I was losing it, and I like to think I beat Trevor up pretty good. But Trevor punched back harder and faster. He was about to crack my skull. Marie clawed for the box beside her opened it. She screamed, told us to stop, pointed that nine millimeter at us. Trevor went nuts, charged for her. She screamed, told him to stay back. She'd never shot a gun in her life. She wasn't going to start now. Trevor grabbed her by the shoulders and...
Oh god, I jumped a tiny bit. I was so immersed That's into that story. Remember is not necessarily what really happened, or how others remember it. But Trevor fell back on the carpet, dead. That we all remember. Well, he did do some crazy shit. What? Oh. Huh? Mom? I'll be down in a minute. Anne Marie is getting a little worked up here. She threatened to smoke a cigar in your car. Don't let her. Don't let her smoke. I love that car. She knows you do. Get down here, Mom. You're taking like forever. Like forever. Bring the journal. Whatever. Bossy little woman. And just like that? I was I packing? Yeah, let's look at the journal. This is really cool. This is really cool. I like this a lot. I'm gonna say no entry unless you're a tourist from the future. I, that's so odd. I need this sign. That's amazing. I go here now. Don't need to go in there. Oh, oh that's the bathroom. That's the bathroom. Set down. Is that it? Oh, that's it. I don't even really see Marie. Damn. Wow, that was an amazing game. I mean, a huge puzzle kind of game, but amazing nonetheless. Like the story was very good. That that end scene where Trevor like sneaks into the room, I was just immersed. And like when the gunshot, like no lie, I kind of jumped a tiny bit. I was not expecting it. Like I knew, like I was expecting like a shot, but I don't know. It was just like I said, it was great. I loved how you found something. You got Kelsey's side of the story, but then you got um. You got Marie's side of the story as well from the journal. I thought that part was really, really cool. But um, again, this game is called Mary's Room. You can find it on Steam. I believe it was free. So if you guys are interested in this, by all means, go to Steam. Pick this game up. It's amazing. 10 out of 10. Would recommend it to anybody. Especially like me and you're a huge fan of indie games and indie developers. But we're going to stop this video on right here. And as always, thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching this one, th one with us. And we will see you guys in the next one. Peace, my dudes.